hi everyone and welcome back welcome to my another playlist and in this playlist i'm talking about how you can prepare yourself for the coding questions coding assignment and all because these days uh, after this corona thing happened now the most of the interviews are happening virtually and uh, you may get a coding assignment or they can just do a pair programming with you to understand your mindset about a particular problem statement so in this video we are going to prepare for that and i will be creating at least 10 to 20 videos okay using different platform how you can practice uh, different coding problems so let's say we have a hacker rank we have a lead code we have an algo expert and i know there are many more platform which are doing the same thing which is providing with a platform where you can practice the coding uh, there is a, some random problem statement and then you give an opportunity you can solve that using a uh, different stack i can solve it in the java python or maybe in the javascript and uh, interviewer is going to put these kind of questions before you to understand your mindset after reading the problem how you are going to approach the problem i mean they may not need okay you provide the end-to-end -end solutions but for the very basic problems which are only about javascript string array he might be expecting that you should run on and run all the test cases and execute the code properly okay so hacker rank i'm already talking about two things a skill certification of like react skill certification basic javascript angular react typescript sql um, or maybe uh, some cloud certification basic skill certification and inside a lead code there are uh, algorithm or basic data structure problems we are talking about basic data structure which deals with the array and the string so those kind of a questions we can try in javascript an algo expert is another new platform that also we can try so what i'm going to play with this here is a simple algo expert problem which is talking about a validating a subsequence okay so this is just a simple javascript problem which is presented to you by the interviewer now how you face it how you approach this particular problem so these kind of a real world scenarios i'm going to put here after that i will also be talking about a hacker rank questions okay maybe there is a hacker rank assignment of a two hours or one and a half hour how you will approach and how you submit all the test cases then similarly you can try these uh, coding questions on the lead code platform here i'm going to talk about very simple very basic problem statements just to make you more familiar about all these things this environment so validate subsequence there are two arrays we have the main array which contains uh, some random elements and subsequence another array we need to just return true or false i guess saying that this second array is a appropriate subsequence of the first array let's say three four that means three and four is coming in the, in the main array eight and seven eight and seven is not coming there so it's a false case right but that now how you will approach this problem once you read it you know okay there is a main array i need to first of all find each and every element in the subsequence array should be available in the main array in the same order okay 1 6 minus 1 10 it should be available in the main array in the same order 1 is coming first then 6 then minus 1 and then 10 okay so if you think about the basic logic i need to iterate the main array and then need to compare the the main array with the sequence array and then how do we increase the counter for the sequence we can have a simple uh, index for the sequence array and then we just run a for loop on to the main array so let index equal to zero that we are going to use to iterate the sequence array because what we are going to do in the whole code is whenever we are sequencing whenever there is a match found we increase the index of the sequence array and at the end this sequence this index which is we are increasing idx should have a equal length of the sequence array that means all the elements of a sequence array are found in the main array otherwise it's a false case you can return false so we are just iterating onto the main array array of i if it equal equal to the sequence of index like if, uh, if we talk about this example 5 and 1 it's a false then 1 and 1 if the match found we will just increase the idx value to 1 now it will compare 22 and 6 false 25 and 6 false 6 and 6 match so it will increase the idx index so at the end this idx value should be equal to the length of the subsequence array if that is true that means all the element we were able to found found in the main array and this is just a simple condition if it is true then we'll return true otherwise it will return false so now we just put say okay uh, return 
index idx value which is a number value which should be equal to the subsequent array dot length because this is how we are iterating and this will make sure that all the elements we have iterated in the subsequent array has already been found in the main array right so this kind of a uh, basic problems you will when you see the problem statement you will see a lot of text is written a lot of uh, uh, content is written and you will get scared but it's like these are like very basic set of questions when you submit it you run the test code test cases and you should always worry about the the basic conditions early conditions let's say what if the array length is empty okay what if the subsequent array is empty because those can be considered in the test cases now if we iterate it then this looks fine we'll just run it and we can just simply test it right all the test cases are passed and we are good similar kind of problems we can uh, i mean you can just do a navigate and you can click on next problem and this is how you can practice i will cover a couple of questions i am already covering this hacker rank skill certification if you want to prepare yourself that also you can do i mean there is a preparation kit and you can try these basic data structure problems in javascript okay you don't need to look for the language you go into the problem statement and then you switch the language there okay i i want to do it in the node js basic uh, javascript and then because you can do it in java c++ uh, python or just do it in the javascript So from here we can just switch the language and can do the problem statement in that particular language uh, we are going to do it in the javascript or node.js so that will be setting the runtime environment so all these data structure problems are available you can submit them in any of the language that will give you a little bit hands on okay how you can approach a problem how you can submit the test cases and how you can check for early conditions which can fail and all the test cases should be covered based on those conditions this is the lead code platform so i'm covering hacker rank lead code and the algo expert right inside this lead code what we are doing a simple fibonacci question when i was trying it so everybody knows how to return a fibonacci of a particular number there is just another number another question alice says n candies were ith candy of type uh, alice noticed that she started gaining weight a good old problem i know she so she visited a doctor and doctor advised that you should you should reduce the you should reduce the number of candies you are eating by half but uh, given that condition alice wants to try more variety of candies instead of just eating half okay so the first test case is one two three four five there are three variety and he can eat maximum only half three so he is fine okay she can eat three here one one two two three there are three varieties but he C can eat only half, which is two. So the maximum is maximum allowed is two. Here the variety is one. C can still eat two, but uh, C wants to eat uh, candies with the variety, with the different types. So the output is one. It's a simple problem. What we need to do is we need to think about uh, how we can first of all get the what is the maximum allowed candies uh, Alice can eat, which is length input length divided by two. Then what are the unique candies i mean the candies type are available so what you will do is you will just remove the duplicates from that array i mean the unique and then get the length that means those are the the number of candies types available then we will see if candies type is less than the array half then the the return uh, you will just return the candies type because 
there may be only one variety but you can eat uh, length by two but as they are all of same candies type i don't want to eat all of them so it will be just like if types the candies type is great less than the maximum allowed which is half return the types otherwise return the maximum allowed which is half of the length of candies i mean the if there are 10 candies you can eat five if this condition is not true and then so these kind of problems will boost your confidence to appear in the interviews some if you are seeing those kind set of questions for the first time you will get scared and uh, you will do a lot of mistakes okay so this is just like a baselining what we are going to achieve and do in this playlist next we are going to try these hacker rank set of questions and do a real hands-on practice in a particular duration of time